now because I know we got a shit ton that we got to cover. Mm. Um, and I know that Manny, you play Halo? No, but I'm right. Re- I'm really excited for this Halo. Okay, so right? everything that we saw, basically, um, the first thing was what I, I just heard. I, I'm just now finding out about this. It's free multiplayer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that means you download the multiplayer section of the game for free, and then it. Aaron was saying it doesn't require Xbox Live. Correct. So it's literally free for free, free, free. Wait a minute. You gotta How does the it Xbox? not require oh. Xbox Live? <laughs> it doesn't it. require Xbox Live Gold. Gold. Oh, it doesn't require Xbox Live play. Gold. So yeah. you don't have to pay to play it. It's a it's a free to play game. Like Fortnite. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's Completely dope. free. Mm-hmm. You don't even need an Xbox. Oh, like that's see, how free it is. I was wondering. Yeah. I was wondering why they were going to do that, but you made that brilliant comparison. Like Fortnite, they're trying to recapture those players. Yeah. Yeah, they're well, doing really good things with it too. It's also available on PC, so that could be a reason why they're making it free to play because otherwise it would be unfair that the mm. PC people get to play online without having a Xbox Gold oh, subscription, right. whereas console people would have to pay to play online. Right. And isn't this like available on the Game Pass too? Yeah. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Like, like day one. Everything is. Well, I think the whole game will be a Game Pass thing, but if the multiplayer is free, then I don't think it's going to require Game Pass. I think you just you just, it's just going to be something you just download to your Xbox. Yeah, it's going to be headshot, 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 headshot. 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 Is it going to be on headshot. Xbox One too, or is it just Series X and Series S? I th- Xbox One. Did this Xbox One too? Okay, that'll be that'll be good because there's I mean, like especially if it's going to be all like multiplat, which I'm assuming it will be because it's going to be Windows mm-hmm. and all the Xbox stuff. That'll be I'm willing to bet there's going to be at least a decent number of players, and hopefully three four three brings it. I'm very interested in this grappling hook thing though. Um, because it's totally new to Halo. Yes, and they got crossplay too. They, okay, they do have oh, the crossplay. Oh, so yeah. good. So you're gonna have PC players, Xbox players. So it's gonna be a madhouse. Um, do we have like a <laughs> do we have a map size yet? Like, or is it gonna be just a it's like the a, biggest map ever in Halo history? Is it like eight eight For eight real? versus eight, sixteen versus sixteen? Like, what's the forty five? It's probably 45. gonna be either eight or sixteen. I I don't know exactly. Sixteen versus sixteen, I think would be. That's a nice size. That'd be yeah. That'd be a lot of fun because I know Battlefield's doing. But I'm just saying, like the maps are gonna be bigger. They're gonna be, phys- they're gonna be physically bigger. Yeah. No, I keep dropping this water bottle. Oh, it's spilling everywhere. Uh, no cap. Panic. That's okay. Cold feet. Nice. Um. <laughs> I mean, we'll see. I know people were very disappointed with uh, the E3 coverage they did last year. Was it last year? Yeah, we did this shit last year. Oh damn! They could pick up the weapons yeah. with that grappling hook. Yeah, you could break. Yeah, you can. You can literally. You can literally grab on it. It's really freaking cool. Oh, um, shank! I just hope. I mean, I hope the Halo fans are going to be happy with this. I know that a lot of people were disappointed with what three four three did. I personally liked Halo four a lot. Halo five could have been better, but um, I mean, as long as they keep those bungee es- bungee esque things. Bungie's. I just wish yeah. Bungie would just come back. Do, Bungie any, come back? Why does does anyone know why Bungie stopped doing it? They're just bored of it. Like, what was their whole? Probably. I don't I was, know. Maybe they. I mean, did they get they got bought out? No. Or no. They were the ones who buy it out. Bungie got bought. <laughs> who did the buying? Who did the selling? So originally, Halo was going to be on macOS, uh-huh. and then Microsoft wanted a game for their console, that which was the Xbox, and so I believe they bought Bungie. To make it a Xbox exclusive, mm. but it was originally going to be an Apple thing, which is a weird fun fact. Okay, um, and then it just became what it became. I think Bungie went independent after Halo Three, like they bought their independence or something like that. And again, I, I, we may need to fact check that one, but because um, they just they just stopped doing it, and then Three Four Three, which is now an internal Microsoft studio, is developing all the Halo crap. Well, to be fair, to make a big time game with a lot of expectations is probably exhausting. Oh yeah. So oh yeah. Maybe I mean, they were wise and just like I'm out. There's Thanks. no. I mean, there's no Half Life Three for God's sakes. I know people were yeah. were talking were complaining because Gabe Newell showed his face or Half Life Two Episode Three <laughs> or Half Life Two Episode Three. And so there's still no Half Life Three. I don't think there's ever going to be a Half Life Three. No. But people are still hanging on to that hope. Um. So the, okay, that's cool. That's cool. What uh, what else do we have on the on the thing? I don't have my paper in front of me. Unfortunately, Hold on, let me get my paper. Battlefield. So Battlefield. while we're while you're getting that real quick, yeah. Bungie stopped making Halo because they wanted to make a game that they could consistently update. Destiny. and res- Yeah, Destiny. And respond to players. And so they quit Halo in order to focus on <laughs> Destiny. But then they made Destiny 2. Which was just Destiny. And wasn't Destiny the first Destiny supposed to be like that game? Like they were going to update it for like 10 years or something. That was yeah. supposed to be what they were going to do. And they have it. I like Destiny know. 2 came out like three years after. It's mm-hmm. just their words. 
that's a direct thing from Bungie. So fair In- investors, enough. fair investors enough. drive decisions. They do. That's what we saw with uh, uh, the cyberpunk thing. The employees of uh, CD Projekt Red were telling the CEO and the whatever manager that they need to step down. Yeah, wow. I saw. I saw. I d- I didn't read the whole thing. I only saw like tiny bits of it. But yeah, yeah apparently internally, you can't say uh, cyberpunk and I not cringe because oh, the paint. <laughs> well, you know what? that makes that makes me think of the Xbox Bethesda showcase because while Halo was coming up, the entire chat, at least the chat I was in, which was on the Xbox Bethesda like event, um, everybody was saying. It's okay. Take your time. Like, don't release Halo before it's ready. Like, we understand. Yeah. Just don't rush it. And I thought that was really cool and interesting because I wonder how the developer, not the developers, the higher ups of a game like Cyberpunk would have responded if the entire community was saying, don't release it yet if it's not ready. Just wait. Well, community versus those investors again. Yeah. Well, if the entire <laughs> community is saying, hey, that's why we have strikes, right? Right. Because if enough people get together and say, hey, this hey man, is I'm wrong. Yeah. Sonic the Hedgehog is proof enough <laughs> that things can be <laughs> things can be made better. Because I don't know whoever saw, whoever <laughs> yep. okayed that. A creature hope, should never. Hope doesn't die. <laughs> hope does not die. Um, okay. What else we got here? So.